What's up guys, War here. Today we got some brand new stuff that we're adding to the channel guys. Tonight we're gonna be giving some tips and tricks for you to help you improve your gameplay inside Apex Legends. Tonight's topic, we're talking about jiggle peeking, the art of jiggle peeking, what it is, how it helps you, and how you can add it to your arsenal to help improve your gameplay inside Apex. So a lot of these clips that we're gonna have are mine my clips that i have for you and we're going to talk about them go over and we're going to watch the clip in its entirety um and then we're going to just kind of break things down and show you why jiggle peeking is so beneficial so let's let's um let's watch the clip back up to me back up to me 93 on gibby i'm hitting it back damn it Less than 30 seconds. They're pushing you together, dude. Here's the only one left. Reloading. Let's fucking go, dude. All right. So that, if you guys notice, that's the jiggle peek. So essentially what jiggle peeking is, guys, is you're using some form of cover, whether it's a box, a barrel, a guardrail, stairs, um, you know, a teammate's body, anything to constantly gain information the whole key to jiggle peeking is to gain intel while you're healing you know even if you are full health while you're trying to do something else like get in get intel heal you know just tell your teammates where other players are going and what they're doing that's the whole art of it in this scenario which is the most common probably inside of apex is jiggle peeking while you're healing so throughout this entire clip we're jiggle peeking and constantly gaining intel so like even though even though I'm hurt and I do take a little bit more damage while I'm popping a shield cell, the fact that I'm gaining information on what these guys are doing through this entire fight, especially since Rabbit is in front of me, is crucial. So as you can see while I'm healing, I'm hitting a bat and I can see that they're pushing up to fight Rabbit. So what I do here is I stop and I start beaming the lifeline so we get the knock which is crucial now we're in a 2v2 situation which helps improve our odds so another thing here that's really important if i just stayed behind this box i have no idea that the lifeline is pushing rabbit or the gibby is moving up as well and i can't help him at all if i'm not jiggle peeking this and stop my heel to help rabbit he may probably get knocked so again i'm peeking stop and i get the the nice shot on him back up to me back up to me yep push off 93 okay. on Gibby now you see how I'm jumping you can jump you know strafe left and right in this case I have the guardrail on my right so I can only strafe left or jump I'm hitting a bat and I'm constantly getting into it. see even though I'm popping a bat I can see them coming up to me so now I've just knocked the Gibby and I got into a 1v1 situation which I'm really confident that I'm gonna win but I don't know this unless I'm jiggle peeking like after back I help me, grab it, me. I reload. Even though I'm jiggle peeking, I reload. That's something else that's very important is utilizing the cover that you have when you jiggle peek. And I'm using it to reload so that way I can help my teammate out. Back up to me, back up to me. And you notice that I'm still only, I don't know why that does that. You guys can see that my health bar, you know, I'm at full health with half shields. I know it's tough to see, there you go. I know it's tough to see it, but and I still challenge, even though I was only at half shields. But jiggle peeking, if I wasn't jiggle peeking, I'd have no intel on what that enemy team is doing. And I wouldn't be able to heal or like help my teammate down the lifeline. I wouldn't even be able to tell that they're pushing me or if they're running away, anything like that. So through the entire clip, I just jiggle peek the entire time. Which is so important. Go right back into back jiggle peeking. Back up to me, peeking. back up. Notice how I'm using the cover effectively. You still want to continue to jiggle peek. 93 on Gibby. I'm hitting it back. Jumping, jumping. Damn it. Jiggle peeking is the main reason why I won this fight and how we won this fight is because I'm utilizing the cover while jiggle peeking to get intel on this entire team. And then we trade out for the win. Let's fucking go. So there you go, guys. That is jiggle peeking. In a nutshell, utilize it, 
utilize it inside of every single game that you're playing on any kind of cover again boxes rails the the trucks the stairs anything to gather intel while you're healing even if you take additional damage because that information is so crucial if you're sitting behind cover in any way and you're just healing and you're just trusting the the sound cues to be able to tell where enemies are you're never going to tell the sound cues in apex is horrible but if you're constantly jiggle peeking and getting intel on an enemy team that you're fighting it can definitely turn the tide inside of a game all right, guys, if you did enjoy this tip, I really do appreciate it if you hit the like button. Leave a comment. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm and help get the videos ranked better. So, again, I appreciate it. I hope you guys learned something from this. And as always, stay gaming. I'm Warlug, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.